Hi, this is Patrick Brunel from Brilliant Directories, and in today's video, we're going to look at the different lead statuses that are available to you with our new lead module. First thing we'll do is go into the admin portal, and from here, we're going to go to match leads, and you're going to see some different tabs that are up. These are different lead statuses that are available to you, and we're going to go over each one. The first one we're going to look at is all. Of course, this lists all of the leads that you've ever received in your website. We have another tab that's called pending. What this is for is to let you know that nobody has been matched yet to this specific lead. In this case, we only have leads that are getting submitted to the get match form. Uh, that's why it says website here. We covered this in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, you may want to check that out. So this means that me, the directory owner, I need to complete the matching. You can see total match 05. The moment that a lead is matched with a member, it'll get flagged as matched. Here we can see that we had one member matched. In this case, it's a direct contact. We can see here by the origin profile. If we click on that, we can see the exact member that was contacted. Since my lead setting is set to automatically deliver direct contacts, then it'll automatically flag it as a matched because they'll automatically receive it. If I hadn't set it to automatically send direct contacts, then in that case, it would still be in the pending folder that we see here. We then have a label called accepted. This is the moment a member accepts a lead, it'll get flagged. This is an excellent opportunity for you, the directory owner, to follow up with that member and possibly upsell them. It's wonderful to know this member accepted a lead. It means they've interacted with my platform. It means I've sent them more business. This is the time to continue building that relationship. We also have another automated status, which is sold out. This indicates that a member on your website tried to accept a lead, but it was sold out. How do you know it's sold out? Because the maximum matches that you've set up in your lead settings has been reached. It means two members have accepted the lead. The moment that happens, when the third member tries to accept it, they're going to be notified that it's sold out. Now, you can do some manual labels, such as requires callback. This is great for your team to use so they can manage their next actions. So in this case, we can see here that this member received the lead. It was matched, but he hasn't accepted it yet. So I want to make sure someone from my team contacts this member and ask them why they haven't accepted the lead so that we can notify the website visitor or we can match them to additional leads. We also have closed. When I'm done working with a specific lead and I don't want them in one of these primary columns, you could just label it as closed and it'll go ahead and it'll automatically send it to the new label that we have here, which is closed. Uh, we also have bad lead. That's just a way of deleting a lead so that they're out of sight, out of mind. And these are the various lead statuses available to you to help you manage your leads. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.